Hey everybody, Will Martin here. So, um, hope I don't have any uh, Oreo cookies stuck in my teeth. I um, I just ate one, and I tell you, I'm I'm pretty good with diet. I eat a lot of high protein, anabolic type uh, diet approach, and, and and I'll tell you, for me that it's it's worked really well. But every once in a while, I gotta have something: Oreo cookie, donuts. I'm, I'm a I'm a big donut addict, and uh, Anyway, anyway, uh, to get to my point, so I just watched uh, a couple more videos on YouTube that had to do with uh, censorship. And this is censorship of physicians that are highly credentialed, highly published, that are being published in major medical journals like JAMA. And they're still being censored because they are discussing, in, in this case, uh, the prevalence of antibodies in unvaccinated uh, individuals who had developed COVID-19. I think this is information that we have to look at and be aware of. And I think we also have to understand that it doesn't necessarily translate into effectiveness if there's additional variants down the road. But this is information. And as healthcare professionals and scientists, we need to be able to discuss this without censorship. And, and I'm afraid with my channel here, I'm afraid that, you know, if I cross the line and start talking too much about this, uh, my channel will be deleted before it ever really gets started. And that would be a shame because as nurses, we need to be more aware of what is being published in the media, what is being published in the literature, and we need to be able to decide for ourselves what's what's uh, right and wrong so that we can counsel our patients. I mean, we're all professionals. We all have the ability to read. We all have our own minds, and, and we can certainly seek counsel from people who we trust, but to censor information coming from reputable, credentialed, published professors of medicine in this case, uh, is just, well, unbelievable. I, I never thought that I would see this, but it's happening. It's been happening. It's still happening. And uh, I, I hope just by mentioning this, I haven't gone too far, you know? Again, disclaimer for any censors, I'm fully vaccinated. And I've been boosted, and I believe that the vaccine was helpful in the early stages of the pandemic for certain, because I saw many, many sick people who were unvaccinated and very few sick people who were vaccinated. But I think it, it's pretty clear now that the way the virus has evolved, that the current uh, variant is probably... Uh, more escapable from the uh, vaccine. It's just the way it is. Anyway, hey, if I've gone too far, nobody's going to see this video. <laughs> but hopefully not. Hopefully we're, we're, we're getting past that. And hopefully YouTube understands that as healthcare providers and as scientists, what we want is the best information for our patients, period. So I had to throw that out there. You all take care. Please consider subscribing. <clears throat> I'm losing my voice. Why am I losing my voice? I don't have COVID. I'll tell you that. Anyway, I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.